Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Vic, aka Mr. Glass, and I'm here to showcase a Diablo 4 beta build. This is like a very rough version of the final build that I'm going to create, but I just wanted to get this out there first because I know there's probably going to be a ton of other people who are going to make this. I want to show you guys my gear and show you what makes this build all come together. Obviously, we're going to be rolling a lot of main stat stuff, as much as you can find, for your intelligence. Um, but this right here, this baby right here, is the one. Sever, critical strikes from Sever have a 38% chance to spawn a blight under the target that deals 132 bonus damage. So, what we're going to try to do with this build is to up our critical hit rate by a ton and then continue to use Sever as our main hatred spender. All right, so let's go see if if I'm, you know, onto it here. Let's go finish the dungeon off. And I'm gonna show you guys how fast this thing works. Um, we have Skeleton Mage on cold, and we have our Skeletal Warriors on the one with the scythe, I believe. Hold on, let me show you what it is really quickly. Look at the Reaper. There you go. That's what you guys are looking for for that. Um, as you see, like, nothing is really a match for this build right now. Um, it's pretty much face rolling everything. The damage is fantastic. But that scythe makes it all come together. And there, trust me, there is going to be a better version of this build really quickly. Watch this elite just get melted. Look at us. Look, look, look at us just melt that elite right there, guys. Are you kidding me? You want more damage than this? If you're a fan of the Necromancer, man, please try out this build. Lots of main stack. We're gonna try for a lot of crit. That we can get sever proc. We're gonna try for uh just to get a ton of main stat really. Main stat and crit and uh that's pretty much how we're gonna do it. Oh we got a beer. Should be coming up to a boss here, and once I show you how fast we can take down the boss, then I am going to 22. Oh yeah, we're not even cat, so like there's more. Did I just get caught in a trap, bro? There's more to this build, though, so. and I'll show you guys again the finished product in a later video. This is also my first time through the beta, so if I happen to go the wrong way. I'm not an expert at this yet. Alright, we just went the wrong way. Alright. We're gonna come back up here, go around. I just want to show you guys how fast we can clear everything with this. And then I will let you guys get about your way. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you mess with this build for the Necromancer. Um, I cannot wait for the album before it come out. I think it's gonna be great. I'm loving the beta so far. If you guys have an opportunity to download this thing, please do. It's one of the best betas that I've played to date. And I pretty much played them all. I played Destiny's beta. It's, I mean, Destiny 1's beta was pretty good. But I don't really think it it's as good as this. The story in this so far is very gripping. And that's not something I say a lot when I play games. Look at my minions too, man. Like, they're just so overpowered. And there's like perks for the Necromancer that I'll show you in the next video that will make your skeletons even more powerful. Uh, each version of the one that you get will be like 15% stronger when you get this passive. I mean, that's 
obviously. You see this black pool right here? And this is the blight. So if something was standing in that blight, it'd be taking massive amounts of damage. And, you know, I just can't wait to see what I can make with this when it's all done. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, we're about to fight the boss. Looks like we might be a little boss around in here. Locked again. Does Lilith know we're coming? Oh. Look, look at this elite, guys. Look at it. Look at it go just get face rolled, dude. Like, come on, bro. You've mastered your I'm telling you, man. Infects your life is not but giving you a build that does that. Not when it's not even fully optimized yet. You miss your daughter. My magpie. She's scared right now. She must be. Go. Or stay. It is time to choose. I... I trained her well. She's a good kid. Strong. She'll be all right. She... You've chosen well. <laughs> Yo, she's like, I, I don't, I don't care anymore. I just want to see. We just show me. We cross a lake at the bottom of these ruins. It requires a ritual. I will teach you. As you wish, mother. Good. You're ready for lesson one. Blood is the key. What did you see this time? I don't need sparing. Tell me. Lilith plans to teach your mother a ritual. One that needs blood. Oh, man. Your mother seemed... receptive. We have to reach them. video right now but I do see your cat what special monster you guys saw a special monster not with this though survivability obviously if you can get it curse vulnerable he's dead ladies and gentlemen come on man let's get wrecked And this is on uh, World Tier 2, guys, which is the highest level you can do in the beta, obviously, when the full game comes out. We will be pushing much higher.
still have all of our minions. It's also important as a necromancer to uh, all of the a couple perks in Severa that give you your extra life or extra damage and that to for how many minions you have to boss in Severa. So we are almost to level 25 here, and then once we get there, we'll finish the story, and you'll start to see more YouTube videos from me about builds and what legendaries are key to the build. I want to try to push several of these videos out before the beta, so that way you guys can have a little bit of time to start messing with some of these builds. Same kind of magic as before. Demon's approach we need to get through. I think I can dispel it. No problem, take your time. Boy, if this isn't the most like destiny one thing ever. Remember guys, the ghost used to have to sit there and dispel some sort of logic on it. And we just sitting there trying to try to hold them off. Bro, we just cut him in half, dude. Vulnerable. Catch a vulnerable front, you're out of there. I think we might be coming to the end of this dungeon, guys. Not enough blood. Never enough blood. Uh -oh. I will follow you to the ends of Sanctuary, Mother. Girl, what have you gotten yourself into? Mother? Nira? You're just in time. Beyond this lake lies the necropolis of the firstborn. A trove of magic and knowledge. I opened the way for Lilith. But I could not pass through with her. I lack divine element, you see. Stop. But I can find it. I'm so close. I simply need... Mother, stop. Look at what Lilith has done to you. Uh, You're writing uh, uh. in your own blood. My little magpie. She awakened me. She showed me things... I can't even put into words. Once I finished... You will understand. I don't care what she showed you. Please, let's just get out of here. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, clever magpie. Trying to leave. I think away she's losing so her mind, guys. All this for yourself. <laughs> this is my discovery, not yours. I will finish these rooms. With your blood. Oh. You must stop this. Look at the gifts she's given me. Won't 
One more round of servants. Get our minions back up. You were... You were protecting me. I don't want to hate you. I'm trying. I really am. We're going to make Lilith pay for what she's done. So we need blessed blood. Go back to your brother. Get that blessing. Beg if you need to. Whatever it takes. My mother started this damn ritual. I'm going to finish it. Meet me in the Mistral Woods. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this YouTube video. Once again, make sure you like and subscribe. I will have so much more Diablo 4 builds and coverage of some of the story bosses and things like that. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. At least I can bury her where she'd want. I need time. I'm sorry. Just leave me.